The Vibro Veritas works with custom in-ear monitors, universal in-ear monitors, and individual balanced armatures. If you want to bring your own USB audio interface, make sure you do a loopback test to ensure that the frequency response is flat. You'll need a male-to-male 3.5mm cable, which you can buy on ViroLabs.com. We do recommend the StarTech.com audio interface that we have listed on the site. If you decide you want to use it, make sure you turn up the volume to 100% and then sticky tack it in place so it doesn't budge on you later. Then turn the switch on the back to the middle position, which corresponds with direct. And that will give you the flat frequency response that you need. Now we can connect the Veritas to the mic in jack and connect our in-ear monitor to the headphone jack. Now connect the in-ear monitor to the Veritas by pushing in firmly and consistently. If you look inside the Veritas, you'll see that the taper ends about 15 millimeters down. You want to get the tip of the IAM to be as close to that as possible and keep it consistent. Custom IAMs require a little more care, but they're still easy to do. Wrap the snout in blue tack and then push the IAM firmly into the Veritas using a cutoff Q-tip to make sure that it seals around the perimeter. If the putty sticks, you can easily remove it by balling it up in your fingers and then pushing it in firmly and pulling out swiftly. To measure bare balanced armatures, you will need to insert the IEM tubing in the exact same way as the custom IEMs. Once inserted, the IEM snout is a snug and sealed fit with the IEM tubing. Two or more armatures can be measured in the exact same way. And that's it. Let us know if you have any questions.